All right, what is this? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey, are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Whoa. Damn right. Nagato, I'm talking to you. Huh? Jeez. Don't haul me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> you were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? Well, I've been li uh, Oh my god, excuse me. A burp came out of nowhere. Whew. I've been listening to you... I've been listening to you. Nekamaru was killed, right? Then that body discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Out of everyone here, I just had to be Nekamaru. Damn it. After what he went through to come back to us. Damn it. How pitiful. It's tantamount to being killed twice. Truly, he was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? <clears throat> ah, is it alright if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should... Did you call for me? Get the Monokuma file, right? Ah! <laughs> He's here! Now then. It seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place, so this is for you. Red bean bread and milk! Yeah, it gives them the food too. Red bean bread? I, wonder, I guess it must be made with a special kind of red bean. In Japan, they make a lot of things with different things. They have the green, those green flavored beans, red beans. I wonder what they taste like. They must be good if they put them in a lot of different foods, right? <clears throat> it's just weird because, like, <clears throat> in America, I never think that they would use beans in bread. You know? Huh. The bonus item. The Monokuma file! There you go. Do your best. Satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best on the investigation. <clears throat> Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? <laughs> Whatever, man, let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. Okay, if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you're at it? <clears throat> what is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuchi fixes the elevator. True, there's no doubt that the killer is responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up because of this little setback. There's no way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, yeah. Fine. <laughs> it seems we too shall begin the investigation on our end, though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with mere child's play. <clears throat> I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped up from the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you guys are still fighting for hope. Such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So we need to be grateful toward Nekamaru for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless, whose side should I be on for this case? The killer or the rest of you guys? I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly, or I'm going to find out which side is the true hope. <clears throat> so wait a minute, we're Nagato now. Oh god. Hey you guys, why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation that we're in. Fine. I have no objection, proceed. Let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we're staying at Strawberry House, in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to use the elevator first and go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m., since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. And since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. When we actually got there, the button on the hall door was broken. <clears throat> Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fuyuhiko suggested that we use the phone and call Grape House. This, too, must be and the will of causality. Oh my god, shut up. And that was everything that happened this morning. Huh. I must say, I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. Then, how was Nekamaru able to go to Grape Tower? Man. Well, obviously he went before the elevator was disabled. What was that? You. Idiot, if we knew that, it wouldn't be difficult. Well. <laughs> no, we, we might know what time he went to Grape Tower. You serious? Seriously? I... It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first elevator. What? Or, excuse me, to the first floor. You mean you personally witnessed Nakamaru going to Grape Tower? 
Hey, hey. When was this sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? Seriously, that thing was super loud. Oh, huh, that's weird. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be on the same wavelength as trash like me. <clears throat> Looks like this is leading to an investi interesting development. Okay. Hey, Kazuichi. If you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about a rumbling noise of the ringing clock, what was that all about? You. Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh? Ugh, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room, when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. Okay. <laughs> the hell? The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. When I went down the hall toward the lounge... Hey! What are you doing? The... This raucous... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice! Don't go making all that noise so suddenly! It, it's not me! The wall clock just started ringing! I was just trying to stop it! I wonder what... The, it must signify something, right? The wall clock ringing must signify something happened, but what? Then hurry up and stop it already! <clears throat> I, I, I know! I'm in the middle of doing that! That's when the sound finally stopped. <sighs> Man, that totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Fuyuhiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Huh? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seem to get here pretty fast. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't rush over here. I was at the lounge by coincidence. You see? Coincidence, hmm? Huh? What? You, do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever. I don't really give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Aw, oh, man. Thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Kablam! What was that sound? What's going on? Earthquake? This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey! There's no way this building is gonna collapse, right? Hey. Hey, Kazuchi, stop clinging to me. Hmm. And that's what happened. I see, so you're the one who was clinging to Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. That's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also... And not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to just go back to our rooms for a while. I see. Yup, what you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? <clears throat> Me, of course. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud, everyone else came out of their rooms. The same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you... You better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us. Of course I'm not, for now. Hey, hey, hey! That for now line is what's making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you heard first and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to the case? Wall clock has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright. <clears throat> hey, you said that you witnessed Nekamaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to go check the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. I stuck my head off from the lounge. Hmm. <laughs> I saw Nekomaru's back, he was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why would Nekomaru wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too, I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. 
Jeez. And that's when the clock at the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekamaru. Until just now. Then, from the time you saw Nekamaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting choked up? What? <laughs> what? Huh? Was I right? Of course not, <laughs> asshole. You're completely wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. And I thought you were reminiscing about Pika Pekko or something, but that can't be right. After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Alright, so his account's been added. I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. When I put the events in chronological order, Yuhiko saw Nekomaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekomaru apparently went down to the first floor. Then at 5.30, the alarm clock started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Yuhiko was. After that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't make sense. Let's make history. Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. Okay. <clears throat> 